Hello guys, hello everybody. Today I want to show you how to render 1920 by 1080p at 60 frames per second using Windows Movie Maker. Let's go ahead and select a new project. No, we don't want to make any savings to that. We come over here and we click here. And you know what? I'm going to select the same clip that I had. Actually, yeah, let's select this clip. Open. Now, here we are. Now that you have your clip, make sure that it's nice and edit and whatever you have done to it. Make sure that everything looks good to you. And once you have that done, let's go ahead and save and render. Right here, we got the render settings of Movie Maker but you can create your own. So we come over here and create custom setting. It's very easy. Let's name this one 60 FPS render. Render. We change the width to 1920 by 1080 and we change the bit rate to 60,000 and why do I change the bit rate to 60,000 I'm gonna explain to you why right now whoa 60,000 FPS that's crazy okay the reason why check this out this is our clip right here okay Okay, here it's our bit rate. Look at that, 42 to 32. A lot of people don't take this in consideration, but it's very important, and I'm gonna tell you why. This video here, the size in the file, look at that, it's frame rate 59. It was recorded by GeForce Experience, okay? And it has been compressed a little bit, okay? Because the frames of the video are 100, between 100 and 110 frames per second because that is the maximum that it records at, at 60 frames per second so you can see right here guys the bit rate so what is going to happen if i don't bring this up to 60,000? check it out it's, it's still going to be compressed so we go ahead and save we're going to save it here don't change the location leave it the way it is right there go ahead and hit close so now we go back again save movie and now here we have our custom setting right here look at that see custom settings so go ahead and select that one and we're going to name this one sixty fps tutorial save and now it's rendering Man, that is fast. My i5 6600K at 4.5 gigahertz is very fast. Now this clip right here, guys, it's part of a montage. So if you wanna watch that, it's gonna be on my gaming channel. It's called uh, Lucky Shots, not montages. It's just Lucky Shots. Me going around getting Lucky Shots, Lucky Kills. Yeah. So there it is, it has been rendered. So let me open the folder where it is. Let me close iMovie. No, I don't want to make any savings. And here it is. Now let's take a look at the bit rate. Properties. Look at the size, 300 megabytes. It's not that big. Details. The bit rate, did you see that? I put it on 60,000 and it downgraded to 41 at 60 frames per second. Did you see that? yeah that was a big big compression i could be wrong though but you know what it makes a difference and i have seen the difference let's take a look at that clip random at 60 fps So what is the main reason of doing this here? For montages, if you want to put several clips together and do a voiceover, or if you're a YouTuber like me who likes to make these type of videos. And I assume that you are since you're watching this video. Smoke checked. 
They could be blogs, they could be gaming channel, they could be a sports channel, it doesn't have to be Call of Duty. But anyway guys, that is how it looks. Let's take a look at those 60. That looks glorious. Okay guys, this was a tutorial on how to use Windows Movie Maker and render at 60 FPS. I'm telling you, it saved me some money today.